Okay, you guys, so my sister is going to make a blackberry mojito. And what are you using to make this drink? I'm chai. Um, <laughs> six limes, a whole carton of blackberries. Make sure you guys get the little plump ones because mm, those are good. Um, two or three leaves are stems of mint, fresh mint, and then some Captain Morgan is my favorite. You can use whatever rum you like. Don't forget the club soda, any brand you guys prefer. We just prefer Canada Dry. Um, ice, and a big pitcher. Oh, and my muddler. Mm -hmm. And Stacey's nails are so cute. Look. Show your nails. Aren't they so cute? They're okay. dirty. So how do you choose your berries? I choose them as, I mean, the, the plumpness of the little seeds. So it's not and the black of the berry? <laughs> That too, because sometimes this the <laughs> lighter berries are a little a bit sour. So we are going to have a little barbecue today and I picked up these peppers here because I'm going to use these to stuff with some queso fresco. So before I do that, I am going to cut and de-seed and then wash and I'll show you guys what I do next. Okay guys, so all I did was cut the top portion of the peppers off. Now I'm going to de-seed all of the chili. Okay you guys, so before we get started on barbecuing the meat we like to put the peppers to roast and also some chili jalapenos okay you guys so these are the peppers they are all roasted i am just going to peel off the skin and stuff them with some cheese skincare routine is using a cleanser and the one that I use is by its brand right here let's see if you guys can see okay so this is confidence in a cleanser um, what I like about this cleanser is that it makes my face feel very clean and fresh and so what I like to do in the morning is apply a small amount because I'm sure you've heard this before a little does go a long way um, a small amount of the product and I'll, all I do is add some water I mix it into my hands, warm up the, the product, and, and then I'll massage it onto my skin for about 30 seconds and then rinse away. That one's very easy. So I already did that. Um, I, already, I, already, I already cleansed my face. So the next thing after cleansing my face in the morning, I do go in with the Bye Bye Lines Serum, which is this one here. Let's see if it'll focus. Okay, so this is the serum that I use. So what I like about this serum is that it just overall helps with my fine lines and some of my skincare concerns that I do have. Um, so this is a advanced anti-aging wrinkle serum. I just add a small amount like that. And then using my ring finger, I will go in in this area of my face and just kind of like circular motions upwards. Um, and I'll do the same on the other side. So I'm just focusing here in this area and then I'm also going to take it to the other side And then I'll add a little bit here and around my mouth area And what I've noticed you guys is that this product has helped um, The appearance of my fine lines just kind of look less noticeable and That's what I like and then I'll just use whatever's left over here in this area like so and the products all gone so after I use the bye bye lines I like to go in with the confidence in an eye cream so what this does here it just brightens repairs it hydrates and it smooths out your under eyes so I'll take a small amount put it in the back of my hand and then again with my ring finger I'm just going to use and it also helps with the look of your under eye circles so I'm not applying too much pressure under my eyes. I'm just going swiping windshield wiper motion and then just dragging it up. 
and I'll do the same to the other side I don't know I like this product this product has helped with or without makeup it works amazing guys if you are going if when I've noticed that when I wear makeup under here I don't have that much creasing going on with the different liquids that I use and then I'll just grab a little bit and put it on my eyelid it also does say that it helps with redness so if you have redness around your eyes or you can use that product too so I like using this product I've been using this product for a while now that's why I'm sharing now because I've noticed that it has helped my skin come to life <laughs> Like so. So after I'm all done using that, I will go in with the Confidence in a Cream. So this is the Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream here. So I'm sharing because I'm almost all done with the product and I've noticed such a big change in my skin. I've noticed that my skin just feels very hydrated, very moisturized. It looks nice. I don't really have dull or like, you know, I'm not... I'm just happy with the um, the results so I do grab a generous amount of this product like so and then I also go in with the super goop play SPF 50 this is an everyday um, lotion you guys can see so all I do is grab a little bit of that pro this product and I'll mix it in with I'll mix it in with the um, moisturizing cream and then just kind of apply it to my face dragging everything up on my forehead area I really love the way this smells and then I'll just kind of bring it up my skin my neck area whatever is left over and like so so I love using these products you guys it has changed my skin so much I really enjoy so these are the products that I use for the AM now to get my eyebrows done so I found this girl on Instagram. She does henna um, like on your eyebrows. So it's kind of like microblading but not permanent. Henna does rinse away after a couple, um, couple weeks or so. So I'm going to go try that. I've been wanting to do microblading so I thought I'd do this first to see if I actually like something like that on my face. But anyway, here are my brows right now. This is what they look like. As you can see, I do have really thin eyebrows and then I also have a scar. So I'm going to go inside and get my brows done and I'll show you guys a before and after picture. Okay, so I just got back from Kohl's. I did a little bit of um, back to school shopping. I'm just going to show, show you guys what I got. So I got these Levi jeans for my daughter. These are for her. And then this little pocket t-shirt for joseph so cute and then i also picked up some more um underwear for him because he he actually took some out of the bag because he wanted to see the design but i picked up a few more for him and then i got him a little zip up hooded sweater and i got him another t-shirt so he likes just to be comfy so t-shirts and just kind of like the little short sets that don't require like button-ups like he likes these type of pants so i picked up these little joggers they're super easy for him also he's a kindergartner and he does not want to deal with buttoning up his pants or zipping up his pants so i got him that the joggers in black i also got him joggers in the color like the navy color so these are them really like these they ha these are very um the bands here on at the waist are, it's elastic it's perfect drawstring and i also picked up some more of these little under armor little shorts these are his favorite these are the type of clothing that he likes to be in and that one does come with a matching um shirt I also got him another little t-shirt these are short sleeves he's not really into long sleeves and we still are in hot weather so these are perfect got that one I also got this one for him another little t-shirt little buttons and then the last thing I picked up from Kohl's 
I got him some of these um, t-shirts. I like these. He loves anything that doesn't have tags. He likes to wear. I always have to remove the tags for him. But these are cool. These are soft. So these can kind of go under his, under his regular shirts if he wants to wear them. This is what I picked up from Kohl's, you guys. So I am going to continue doing some shopping. And I'll share with you guys as I um, go along. Okay, so I also got Joseph some little cargo shorts from the children's place. This is what they, I got them in black. I also got this color here and then a navy blue. So these are the shorts that I got for him. I did get them at Children's Place and they were on sale for, I think they were on sale for $9.99 because the regular price, they're $17.95. I got them on sale for $9.95 and I did have a coupon. So for all three pair of shorts, I did get them for, I want to say... 20 21 something like 21 dollars which they would have been 10 dollars each plus tax they would have been a little bit over 30 dollars but i did get them for like about 21 dollars and some change so yeah these are them okay you guys so i'm gonna share with you guys the shoes that we got joseph for back to school jayla i'll probably share her stuff a little bit later because we haven't really finished shopping for her joseph is a little bit easier because Pretty much he likes anything that I choose, but I did let him choose the shoes he wanted and he chose these here. So these are these are the um, the old school in the color navy. So these are the ones that he chose. I like the Velcro for his age. It's so easy. And then we also let him choose another pair and he chose the same style but in black. So these are the shoes that we got for him. So they're both the old school. This one is in black and then this one is in the color navy. Um, yeah, so these are his shoes. And then maybe um, we have a couple more days before school starts and we will go out and finish our back to school shopping. Um, mainly pick up things for Jayla and then a few more things for Joseph. But these are the shoes. They're so cute. So I'll see you guys in a little bit gonna have some hamburgers and hot dogs I'm gonna show you guys a quick little grocery haul I just got back from Ralph's I picked up this hamburger buns in this um, style here the brioche so good guys I think we got this the last time by accident this style of bread and it actually tastes really good so now it is something that we pick up for our hamburgers and hot dogs also um, picked up some bacon some beef franks these are on sale that's why there's so many and then I got some plates some hamburger patties, some cheese, some dill relish, and some pickles to go in the hamburger, some hamburger dill chips. We also got some jalapenos to grill, avocados. I also got an onion, tomato, some lettuce, and a variety pack of chips. Hi, it's me, Joshua. Okay, guys, so I just finished cutting everything and I put it into this little container here. We have avocados, tomato, onion, um, pickles, and some lettuce. These are all the things that we are going to use to put inside our hamburgers. So yummy looking. My favorite avocado. Okay guys, the first batch of bacon is out of the oven. It's nice and crispy. Now I'm putting in the second batch. Okay you guys, so this is my hamburger and my hot dog. I'm just going to top off the hamburger with some lettuce. I love lettuce, so this is a big piece. And I'm going to enjoy this with some avocado and a jalapeno. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I'll see you guys. Later.